Hey, what's going on? Talking about race, the final frontier. <laughs> so, uh, damn. Fucking uh, crack my head in mobile. Man, better step his game up in this spot. But anyway. <clears throat> My last video, the live. Number one, I want to apologize to the people that were trying to get on live. Normally, I don't take that long. You know I got to do an intro, though. But normally, the intro doesn't take that long. But it's just that article with the turbans. That was very intriguing to me. So I kind of had to get into that. Because that, that talked a lot about the things that I talked about, so I had to let that be known. But let me say this. Race is a touchy topic. That's why, historically, if you had race, you know, black people or niggers or white people or devils, Fuck white people in the title of the videos when you can do what you wanted to do on YouTube. They would attract a whole lot of views <laughs> because it excites people for some reason. It, it, it ignites people. And um, that's what happens. Um, so when people... Even the funny part is people that's supposed to be pro-black. That's the funny part about it. Or in favor of black or pan-African or comedic or whatever the fuck you want to call them. <clears throat> I notice when it comes to race, these are the people who have the biggest problem. That is when it's coming from the black side. And you got to keep in mind. The funny part is, these are the ones who will go above and beyond what I would go as far as this to topic is concerned. I don't know if they got upset because I was talking about one of their people, or but usually it's people who have uh, who are guilty. Those are usually the people who get upset. You know, and the problem is, I asked the person, you know, you want to make these comments, but can you prove what I said was incorrect as opposed to the fact that you just didn't like it? See, this is what I mean when I say we got to weed out the fakers, weed out the people who Or not real. Because these people, even if they act like they're down with it, or whatever it is that you're down with, whatever that might be, later on, it's going to come out. Oh, I ain't with that. That's why you see where they're at beforehand. A lot of people don't like to do that because they don't want to look like the bad guy. But see, the, the thing I like about me is I don't care if I do look like the bad guy. And I don't care what kind of names you call me. So that's the thing about me. Now, yeah, I do have my little rule. If you comment strictly to name call, that's the end of that. But if you comment, you know, to critique what I'm talking about, you know, I don't mind. A lot of people have. And I don't, I don't get a, I don't have a problem with that because I like the, for people to say what it is that they have to say. You know what I mean? I watch this guy in this garage, man. He's the only one with a piece of shit car, so <laughs> he didn't get out of his car yet. So you got to watch people like that, especially when they're white too. But um, you know, people can get upset. But what I pre presented yesterday, I was trying to figure out what 
could have could it have been that got this guy upset? I assume it's a guy. <laughs> um, what could it have been? What could it have been? What happened to make this person? I note that the person didn't really, they didn't critique what I said. You know, they do like most people. They just say, I don't like it. You're stupid. Yeah, this, yeah, that. I disagree. Okay, well, I, what do you disagree about? You know, you could disagree all you like, but are you disagreeing because you just don't like it? Or are you disagreeing because I lied? Now, I was trying to think, even though the video was four hours long, I was trying to think. What was it that somebody could have seen or heard that made them say, you know what? This guy might be talking some bullshit. And I'm trying to figure it out. I can't figure it out. Was it the Hispanic thing, the Latin thing, the Latin American thing? Or was it the turban thing? What was it? Man, taking an awful long time to get out of this motherfucking car. <laughs> See, I always watch out for people like that. My man got to step his vehicle game up. See, motherfuckers start lingering around too damn long. You gotta, you gotta start watching. Man, I mean, you can take whoever. Uh, there's a lot of Audis in here, so fuck with them. <laughs> you gonna fuck with somebody? I don't know how he got in here because I mean, looking pretty trashy. But I guess because he's white, I guess that's good enough. <laughs> but anyway. There was nothing that I can think of that I said that was incorrect because, you know, I don't come up here with the bullshit. Now, I know some people want to accept the white man's predefined or uh, planned world. Everything pertaining to race, that's according to him. But so many people out here think it's according to nature and it's according to the truth because it came from the white man. The white man created racial categories. And the white man created the race as a social construct. And I keep that in mind. Nature didn't create these categories. The white man did. That doesn't make it right because the white man did it. But there are so many people out here, they think whatever exists, especially concerning academia, it's not just from the white, it's not from the white man, it's the hard cold facts. That's, that's, that's what they think it is. The facts, you know, some people say, oh, white man science, you know, when you start breaking that down, oh, it's the white man science, even if you don't even mention that. It's the white man's science. Because I don't say it's the white man's science and a lot of people who follow that comedic stuff, they know it's not the white man's science. But there are some things that the white man has tried to turn into a science and race is one of them. Some of us, we try to tell you the real deal. But of course, you need the white man. Normally, I source the white man. But even when you source the white man, people still don't want to buy it until they see a white man get up on TV and say it himself. And until the white man changes all of his media uh, propaganda and says, this is what it is. Then, and only then, do they say, oh, okay. They are right. You are right about that. Matter of fact, they never, would never say that I'm right. Or any other black person. They would just say, oh, okay, that is right. <laughs> you know? Damn. <laughs> they would just say, you know what? That is right. Meaning that, oh, it's been verified by the white man. But they'll never say the black person who was telling you this before. And it's not just me. It's a whole bunch of other people. 
they'll never say, oh, you were right. No, but the white man verified it. So, oh, okay, I, I, I guess it makes sense now. Now I understand. But when it's just black niggers talking about it, I don't understand. It's warped. It's, it's, it's wacko. Is it wacko? Was this person disagreeing? They didn't express themselves because they didn't want to be specific because they didn't want to be challenged. And they had the nerve to have a pro-black name, too. <laughs> but are they mad because of the my take on Hispanics? Is that what the problem is? I mean, what I said was fact. It wasn't fiction. The fiction is when you got these coon agents, they also didn't like the fact that I call people coon agents. Once again, I call people coon agents for this reason and this reason only. If they are certified agents and they're black and they're going against black people, they must be a coon by default because they're working with the white man to twist the minds and keep black people down. That makes them a coon agent. That's why I call them a coon agent. I don't care who they are. I don't care how old they are. I don't care if they're dead. If they're a coon agent, they're a coon agent. So maybe the, I think because of that comment, that was the only thing that was really specific. I'm guessing that one of the people, Cynthia G or Tariq Nasheed, I guess they don't like the fact that I called them coon agents. Again, I'm willing to, I don't like saying debate. I'm willing to talk to any one of the people that I talk about. And that's the difference between me and other people. I don't just talk about people. I actually engage these people or make attempts to engage these people. And I can't help it. If I see that they're running after they start the engagement, then I see, I figure that they're hiding something. You know what I mean? So you got to call them out. But race, it's always going to be controversial as long as you have people who are on the top and keeping other people on the bottom. And if that person is black and can't understand that, I don't know what to tell you. That sequence, that website I read about the uh, turban, black guys going undercover as Indians or whatever, some neutral people. That alone should be the evidence to let you know that the white man respects everyone else but you, but us. And the Indian guy wrote the article it almost seems as if his, you know, you got to watch Indians too and the way they word shit too. It almost seems as if he was trying to say, you know, black people have to be like them in order to get by or we're respected as Indians. So you got to watch how they do things. But I didn't make this world up. The world is what it is. The white man lies. People like me, we interpret the lies. And we can do that. That's one of the reasons why you have your own YouTube channel. And um, so you can express yourself. You got to rely on Sarnetter, Nashi, the black disrespectful black authority, <laughs> and all these other people. You got to wait for them to say it. I mean, goddamn. They don't say what I say. Because this is, they're not really real. That's why. They're not looking to get shit resolved. They're just looking to keep shit going and have a show. If you notice, I don't really come out with videos on a regular basis. I only come out with videos when there's a need to. These other people have a show. Every whatever day. You know, I even lost a few people because Google, Google sabotages my shit. Just like they sabotage a lot of other people's shit. And they keep sabotaging more and more people's shit and more and more people are realizing it. So when people call it out, people know, okay, nobody's bullshitting here. You know? 
like the, the last video they didn't promote at all. They didn't let people know that it was coming going down. At all. They delete comments. I lost a, uh, a few loyal viewers because they just couldn't understand that I'm not the one deleting comments. Now that comment I deleted on the last video, I said I was going to do that. And I did that. But I'm not the one. I don't delete comments. Google, YouTube does that. So, you know, I, I don't know what to say about that, but all I can say if people don't like your style, they can go find a new style. You know, it's like women. When you're with the woman, you're loyal to her, you respect her, don't hit her, all that kind of stuff, don't even yell at her. But they say, oh, well, I had to leave because you didn't tell me what I wanted to hear. You mean that's all it takes? Somebody just tells you some shit you want to hear and then you're in love forever? I mean, uh, this is crazy. <laughs> you see how some women get uh, taken for a ride, you know, because they're looking to hear these words. Why don't you tell a man what he wants to hear, what you think a man should hear? Maybe he might tell you. <laughs> but with YouTube channels, if somebody's not saying what you want want to hear, I'm sure there's some other place that people are saying what you want to hear. And you can keep on going on in that world. But you got to ask yourself one question. Is what I want to hear what I need? Or is the truth what I need? I don't know about you, but I know I like the truth. That's why I'm attracted to certain YouTube channels, because I like the truth. That's why I go with We All Be TV. Brother Ron. I see my man got a few haters for some odd reason, but I feel that my man is dropping it like it is. And a few others out here. Who else is it? Uh, my man Real Black, even though he doesn't really do commentary like that that much, but I like him. Uh, Hezekiah News, I like them. Him. Uh, what's my other goal, too? Clyde Winters. That's the kind of shit I like. Real shit. I, now, I do listen to the Black Authority. I really hate the fact that he keeps insulting people, saying, put down the crack pipe and all that kind of shit. And then on the one hand, he's like uh, trying to act like he's trying to tell you to get your finances together and get together with people with great credit. Then you can make power moves. But as is usual, these Negroes never tell you how to get the money and how to do the shit that they're telling you to do. Why don't you try doing that? Then people will probably take your advice. They might listen to your ass more than they listen to Dr. Boyce. You can make all these damn videos, drop that, but they never do. Just like the PhDs never tell you how to go get one, or they don't even tell you to go get one. Because these people want to be the only nigga, that's why. We don't even know what the hell the black authority is working with money-wise, but all we know is he keeps acting like he's so familiar with New York, Chicago, L.A., all over the country, I guess because he comes from a small town. You know, he wants to act like he's been around in those places, you know. <laughs> that's that's how it has to be. But I'm not mad at the person who who came with the negativity. I, I feel that you have a right to say what you got to say. But I at least like for people to explain how I'm wrong. If you can explain that, I could definitely, you know, accept that. I'm not one of those people where if I'm wrong, I try to convince you that I'm right. Hell, Ty Tyron and others, they, they taught me a thing or two. Sister Warrior taught me a thing or two. 
You know, I'm not if, if, I, if I was somebody else, I probably would have learned from them and then ran with the shit and, and try to act like I came with the shit. That's how other people do. I don't do that. You know? But, you know, it is what it is. I know if you don't know that Hispanics are mixed race, I don't know what to say to you. <laughs> Just coming back from the store, I see them even more all over the place. I mean, if people can't feel the heat now, I mean, God damn. After a while, I, I, I swear to you, white people, they're going to have they're going to start reacting pretty soon. See, they're used to us being the uh, main event when it comes to evil things being done or in this country. But with all these different Hispanic groups coming here, doing it all, I mean, it's starting to put the squeeze on white people. The 20th century. That was a hell of a century for the United States and a hell of a change. That's why I always tell people, nobody ever stopped trying to take over the world. I always tell people that. That's what human history is all about. <laughs> Nobody ever stopped trying to take over the world. So I didn't want to keep this one too long. <clears throat> I just wanted to point that out. Because that was a shocking, head-scratching comment. From somebody that's been around. I mean, if you didn't know what the hell I was about by now, I mean, well, well goddamn. I mean, <laughs> what was the surprise to you? <laughs> you know what I mean? But... You know, it is what it is, but I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. So with that, I'm out.